judge. It is. He always called me Dotty. He wasn't a bad judge, was he? <laughs> Dotty, Dotty. How are you, George? How am I? Oh, not so bad. My arthritis has cleared up. I'm so glad. How are you keeping? Oh, not so bad. But my arthritis hasn't gone. Oh, well, it will when you come up here. How's the weather? Still raining. Never mind, it's good for the garden. How many geraniums? Not as good as when you did them, George. Well, try putting a bit of potash on them. The next week's garden is cold up. Oh, <laughs> I do miss you so, George. Oh, are you lonely? I am a bit. Well, why don't you get married again? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting married again, George. <laughs> <laughs> you would do that, and I hope you'll be very happy. Oh, thank you, George. Well, I've got to go now. Somebody else here wants to talk to you. Goodbye, Dotty. Goodbye, George. Oh, go when's Henry VIII coming? Oh, <laughs> Geronimo. Oh, I am here. Is there anybody else there who wishes to speak to anybody else here? <laughs> yes. Is Albert Steptoe with you? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I have your wife, Emily, here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that you, Albert? Emily? Hello, Albert. You haven't been down to the grave lately, have you? I'll go in the morning. It's your mother. Cobblers. It is. It's her voice. <laughs> Who are you speaking to, Albert? Harold. He's sat next to me. Harold. My little Harold. He should be in bed. He's only five. He's not. He's 40 now. <gasps> He's older than I am. Oh, come on. Now, that's enough of this. <laughs> Harold. Harold, it's Mummy talking. Are you there, Harold? Say hello to your mother. No, I'm not, not going to. Go on, say hello to her. Oh, go. Hello. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> Emily. Yes, Albert. Would you mind if I married again? Of course not, Albert. Little Harold needs a mother. <laughs> Have you found somebody, Albert? Yeah. She's sitting right next to me. Dorothy Judy. Oh, she'll make you a wonderful wife, Albert. Y you sure you don't mind? Of course not, Albert. <laughs> but you and Harold must promise to love her and cherish her and look after her as long as she... Harold, are you mad? Oh. I was talking to your mother. You wasn't talking to my mother. You was talking to her. Oh. Fiona Richmond there. Come on, get on. Get on. My mother was dead. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Cus Montana? Cus is all right. You might have killed her. Rubbish. Uh, I see. She's only play acting. She's a phony. Don't you talk about my daughter like that. Uh, you who? No, I've never thought that. A mother and daughter. Of God. She, she's trying to unload her mother. Yeah, yeah. You just find some senile old twit with an hard-working son. And you is quitting. Right, now, come on, missus. That's it. Out, out, out. Now, come on, come on. Why don't she get married again, Albert? You must marry again, fine squaw. Come on, come on, get your umbrella and get out. Now we're going to be my dead away. Oh, I'm in a big time, man. I'm a big would you like a sausage roll? What? No venison? No, we don't have none of that. Paul, true. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, she's gone again. Come on, Mrs. Bye, Mrs. Come along, Beryl. I don't wish to stay in this house a moment longer. Dorothy, will you have a sausage roll? No, I will not. Your son has made it perfectly clear that I'm not welcome in this house. Well, you're welcome to a sausage roll. Oh, go with a sausage roll. I don't care how much money you've got in the bank. I've no intention of being unloaded onto you. And as for your villa in Mallorca, you can keep it. Uh, uh, unhand me, Woolsey. Great green sleeves is my delight. A plague on both your houses. Especially the one in Mallorca. 
What happened? Did we get through? Yes, of course you got through. Did, you, uh, got Did she get in touch with Tiddles? I didn't hear him meow. We'll try again next week, dear. Well, we yes. should have brought his collar. Yes, we should have brought his With a bell on it. With a little bell on it. Because he likes that bell. Yes, yes. And yes. he'd have yes. heard yes. it yes. from the What villa in Mallorca? What money in the bank? Well, you know how it is. When you're trying to pull a bird, you sort of embroider a bit, don't you? <laughs> embroider a bit? That's the old of the Bay you tapestry, as far as we're concerned. <laughs> All 200 feet of it. Fancy her being her daughter. Do you think they were just after me for my money, Harold? No, not just, but it helped. So it gave you an advantage over the other contenders. You... You're well out of that, Dad. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh oh. Good night, Harold. Good night, Dad. Harold. Do you think she was really a phony, that Madame Fontana, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, there's, no, there's no doubt about it. There's a lot of them about. I suppose so. I wish you'd seen her do Laurel and Hardy. She was good at that. <laughs> oh, Louise! <laughs> Better than me. It stopped raining. Good. You won't get splashed tomorrow. No. Well, sweet dreams, Harold. There's some sausage rolls over there. All right, thank you, thank you. Good night. It would have been nice to have had a chat with you, Mum. Good night, Harold. Mom? Dad? Can I sleep in your bed? Dad? <laughs> Yeah.